Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie do not receive public funds as they are not working royals, but the decision to exclude the sisters from funding may have been down to Prince Charles, according to a royal expert. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, the daughters of Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew, have been wowing the crowds at high-profile royal events recently, including Trooping the Color and Royal Ascot this month. Despite their HRH titles, the royal sisters do not receive the funding that their cousins Prince William and Prince Harry do, as they do not undertake work in support of the Queen. However, the decision to exclude the princesses from funding and senior royal duties reportedly infuriated Prince Andrew. Writing in Vanity Fair in 2011, renowned American author and journalist Edward Klein claimed that the choice to exclude the sisters from royal funding came down to Prince Charles. The Evening Standard's royal editor told Mr. Klein, when Charles ascends the throne, which he will do despite all the talk to the contrary, he'd like the royal family to be streamlined, he wants a smaller, more cost-effective monarchy. Andrew has made a tremendous effort to keep Beatrice and Eugenie close to the Queen in order to assure their future as fully paid-up members of the firm, as the royal family is called. In addition to their status as royal highnesses, Andrew has always wanted them to have around-the-clock security and the rank of working royals. But if Charles has his way, the girls will be thrown off the royal payroll and have to fend for themselves. Beatrice and Eugenie did not become working royals when they graduated university, in 2011 and 2012 respectively, and so do not receive funds from the sovereign grant. This is the grant paid to the royals directly from the treasury, funded entirely by the taxpayer, and which replaced the civil list in 2012. In 2016, the Duke of York was said to be furious when his written request to the Queen asking that the princesses be funded by the sovereign grant was turned down. At the time, a royal source said, Andrew has always wanted his daughters to be full-time royals. He sees it as a slight on him and them if they are not. But Charles calls the shots and he wants the royal family giving value for money. He believes his daughters are being overshadowed by William, Kate and Harry and it will get worse as Prince George and Princess Charlotte get older. He fears that they will be totally sidelined when the Queen dies. In addition, Andrew was reportedly angered in 2011, when Beatrice and Eugenie were stripped of their £500,000 a year 24-hour security detail. The Duke of York has also spoken publicly of his desire for his daughters to continue his work as a trade ambassador, and take on other working royal duties. In 2012, he said, I could make use of them because they would take some of the burden off me. Prince Charles was also widely perceived to snub Prince Andrew and his family in 2012 when the Duke of York, Beatrice and Eugenie were excluded from the Queen Landmark Diamond Jubilee celebrations. Royal author Katie Nichol, in her 2017 book Harry, Life, Loss, and Love, explains how the Yorks were not included in the famous Buckingham Palace balcony appearance for the Jubilee. She writes, One family member told me that such a thing would never have been allowed to happen had the Duke of Edinburgh been there. The Duke of Edinburgh had to sit out of many of the Diamond Jubilee and Olympic celebrations of 2012 as he was suffering from ill health. Ms. Nickel continues, it did cause some ill feeling among some members of the extended family, including Prince Andrew, who is particularly upset not to have been included. Nowadays, Beatrice and Eugenie are not considered working royals and, while they do support charity causes of their own and appear with the royal family at select occasions, they do not undertake any roles in support of the Queen. Prince Andrew's website states that the prince supports both of his daughters financially from his private income. After Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's high-profile 1996 divorce, the Queen also gave Fergie pound 1.4 million to set up a trust fund for her daughters. Her Majesty and the Duke of York also provided for their respective university educations. The two sisters formerly lived together in royal apartments at St. James's Palace, at a cost of £20,000 a year, however Princess Eugenie moved to a cottage at Kensington Palace shortly before her marriage to Jack Brooksbank. However, the royal sisters do have careers of their own, too. 
Beatrice currently works as Vice President of Partnerships and Strategy, at Affinity, 1A, U.S.-based technology company. She graduated with a degree in history from Goldsmiths, University of London in 2011. Meanwhile, Princess Eugenie Dee has worked at Art Gallery Hauser and Wirth since 2015. She was promoted to director of the Mayfair Gallery in 2017 after having been an associate director for two years. The princess graduated with a degree in history of art and English literature in 2012, and moved to New York to work as an auctions manager before returning to London. She married Jack Brooks Bank in the pair's stunning royal wedding in October 2018. Princess Eugenie, 29, is 10th in line to the throne, but not a full-time royal. Eugenie is the second daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson and niece of the heir to the throne, Prince Charles. But her uncle was reportedly not keen on letting Eugenie and her older sister Princess Beatrice have a higher royal profile. A few years ago, it was reported that the prince's father Andrew believed both his daughters should have a higher profile in the royal family. That included them having more royal duties and contact with the public. However, Prince Charles, Andrew's older brother, reportedly thought the modern monarchy should be focused on fewer people. Those people included himself, his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, his sons Prince William and Prince Harry and later their spouses Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Meghan Markle. However, it is speculated the Queen came out in support of her granddaughters, although this was never confirmed by the palace. Princess Eugenie regularly attends royal engagements with the Queen and often accompanies her grandmother to the Easter Day church service in Windsor. She is also often spotted at the Royal Windsor Horse Show and Royal Ascot. In recent years, the 29-year-old has joined other royals at the Queen's annual summer garden parties. These engagements would reportedly not have happened were it not for the Queen's fondness of her. But despite this, Eugenie receives no royal allowance from the privy purse. This is because she is not technically a working royal. The privy purse is the British sovereign's private income, mostly from the Duchy of Lancaster, a 46,000 acres largest aid held in trust for the sovereign since 1399. While the income is private, Queen Elizabeth II uses the larger part of it to meet official expenses incurred by other members of the British royal family. Instead, Princess Eugenie works as an associate director at Art Gallery Hauser and Wirth a position she has held since 2015. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar she said of her job, I've loved art since I was very little. I knew I definitely wouldn't be a painter, but I knew this was the industry for me. I love being able to share my passion for art with people. 